Hello everyone, welcome to Storytime with Michelle. I'm Michelle and I just love reading stories aloud for you. I've got a question for you. Are you looking for a funny story about a turnip? Wait, you've never even heard of stories about turnips before? <laughs> well, you're in luck. I have it right here, the gigantic turnip. And this was written by Alexi Tolstoy and Nayim Sharkey. And thank you so much to Barefoot Books for giving me permission to share this story with you today. And let's have a closer look again at that cover. That sure is a gigantic turnip. I mean, it's huge. Look how small the man and woman are on top. What in the world are they going to do with this turnip? Well. Let's find out together. Let's read. The Gigantic Turnip by Alexi Tolstoy, Naim Sharkey, and Imelda Staunton. Boy, is that one gigantic turnip. The Gigantic Turnip by Alexi Tolstoy and Naim Sharkey. Published by Barefoot Books. Long ago, an old man and an old woman lived together in a crooked old cottage with a large, overgrown garden. Their cottage does look a little bit crooked, doesn't it? But they look very happy. The old man and the old woman kept six yellow canaries. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Five white geese. One, two, three, four, five. Four speckled hens. One, two, three, four. Three black cats. One, two, three. Two pot-bellied pigs, there they are. And one big brown cow. And there's that big brown cow. On a fine March morning, the old woman sat up in bed, sniffed the sweet spring air and said, it's time for us to sow the vegetables. So the old man and the old woman went out into the garden. They sowed peas, and carrots, and potatoes, and beans. Last of all, they sowed turnips. And there's a little turnip seed. That night rain fell, pitter-patter, on the garden of the crooked old cottage. The old man and the old woman smiled as they slept. The rain would help the seeds swell and produce fine, juicy vegetables. And there they all are in neat rows. Spring passed and the summer sun ripened the vegetables. The old man and the old woman harvested their carrots and potatoes and peas and beans and turnips. At the end of the row, there was just one turnip left. It looked very big. In fact, it looked gigantic. Wow. On a fine September morning, the old man sat up in bed, sniffed the cool late summer air and said, it's time for us to pull up that turnip. And out he went. The old man pulled and heaved and tugged and yanked. But the turnip would not move. The old man went to find the old woman. The old woman wrapped her arms around the old man's waist. You see, there she is, grabbing onto him. Both of them pulled and heaved and tugged and yanked but still the turnip would not move. So the old woman went to fetch the big brown cow. I wonder if he can help. The old man, the old woman, and the big brown cow pulled and heaved and tugged and yanked, but still the turnip would not move. So the old man mopped his brow and went to fetch the two pot-bellied pigs. 
the old man, the old woman, the big brown cow, and the two pot-bellied pigs pulled and heaved and tugged and yanked, still the turnip would not move. So the old woman rolled up her sleeves and went to fetch the three black cats. The old man, the old woman, the big brown cow, the two pot-bellied pigs, and the three black cats pulled and heaved and tugged and yanked. Still, the turnip would not move. So one of the cats twitched her tail and went to fetch the four speckled hens. The old man, the old woman, the big brown cow, the two pot-bellied pigs, the three black cats, and the four speckled hens pulled and heaved and tugged and yanked. Still, the turnip would not move. So one of the hens shook her feathers and went to fetch the five white geese. Boy, they really are trying, aren't they? The old man, the old woman, the big brown cow, the two pot-bellied pigs, the three black cats, the four speckled hens, and the five white geese pulled and heaved and tugged and yanked. Still, the turnip would not move. So one of the geese craned her neck and went to fetch the six yellow canaries. There they are. The old man, the old woman, the big brown cow, the two pot-bellied pigs, the three black cats, the four speckled hens, the five white geese, and the six yellow canaries pulled and heaved and tugged and yanked. Still, the turnip would not move. The old man scratched his head. The animals and birds lay on the ground gasping. They're all out of breath, aren't they? The old woman had an idea. The old woman went into the kitchen and put a piece of cheese by the mouse hole. Soon a hungry little mouse popped its head out of the hole. <laughs> the old woman caught the mouse and carried it outside. The old man, the old woman, the big brown cow, the two pot-bellied pigs, the three black cats, the four speckled hens, the five white geese, the six yellow canaries and the hungry little mouse pulled and heaved and tugged and yanked. Pop! The gigantic turnip came flying out of the ground and everyone fell over. The canaries fell on the mouse, the geese fell on the canaries, the hens fell on the geese, the cats fell on the hens, the pigs fell on the cats, the cow fell on the pigs, the old woman fell on the cow and the old man fell on the old woman. All of them lay on the ground and laughed. What a sight. That night, the old man and the old woman made a huge bowl of turnip soup. Everyone ate as much as they could. And do you know what? The hungry little mouse ate the most of all. The end. Oh, what a yummy ending. That soup sure looks so good the way the mouse wanted to gobble it all up. I mean, I've never had turnip soup before, but he sure made it look pretty tasty. <laughs> and how about that little mouse? I just love how this story is all about working together to solve a big, well, gigantic problem. And no matter how little you are, you can still be a gigantic help. Well, if you liked the story as much as I did, I hope you'll click on the thumbs up and like the video and subscribe to the channel. And you can head on over to Facebook and join my book club. It's Storytime with Michelle Book Club. You can share with me what you thought about this book and you can even make requests for stories that you'd like to hear me read aloud on this channel. If you'd like to purchase your very own copy of The Gigantic Turnip, I'll put a link to that down in the description below. Until next time, happy reading!